Hello friends, it's Zeon. Welcome back. Today we are going to look at another way to reveal what's hidden in your objects. Booleans and clipping planes have their uses and are great options, but it's always good to have another option or tool in your toolbox. Unlike clipping planes, you can see the effect directly inside Blender, allowing you to use the same process for rendering. In this sample project, I have three cylinders. Each cylinder utilizes the same technique implemented slightly differently. The cylinder on the left is controlled by the Z position of the sphere. The middle cylinder is controlled by the position of a similar sphere along the X axis. The cylinder on the right is unique in that it has a spherical empty parented to the green sphere that has the ability to be dragged anywhere in the scene. When the sphere comes into proximity of the cylinder, the spherical empty cuts the cylinder. The spherical empty can be replaced with other empty objects with varying effects. Now, inside Verge 3D, we can see the same results as we had seen in Blender. To make things more interesting, let's try with two materials. I've duplicated the first material and I've adjusted the color and assigned it to alternating vertical faces. Once again, testing a few variations. Now let's test in Verge 3D. Z, X, and spherical. You can also limit the effects to a single material, leaving the other material in the object untouched. Now that you know what this can do, let me show you how you do it. When setting up your objects, be sure to set the blend mode to alpha clip and decide whether you want single or double sided materials. For this demonstration, I'm using double sided. When using multiple materials on the same object, the clip threshold should be the same if you want both materials to respond identically. The only difference between the materials is what is outlined in the dashed box. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and like and subscribe and I'll continue making great content. Take care.